Hi, and welcome to another episode of Eating Good in the Woods, the channel that shows you just because you're camping doesn't mean you got to eat like a hobo. No camping this weekend. It's a soggy weekend here in western North Carolina, but that's not going to stop me from cooking for Mrs. Eating Good in the Woods. So tonight I am making an apple cider pork hot pot. Stick around, I'll show you how. So here's the deal. Most of us won't get to go on that whole cross-country thing to see the country until we're retired. Until then, we're simply surviving on weekends and the occasional week vacation. So you've worked your whole work week. Here comes Friday. You've taken off early. You've gone to your campsite. The kids are outside screaming. And dad's cussing because he can't get the stabilizers down. You've put out the slide out when invariably somebody says, What's for dinner? And that's when you remembered you didn't prepare anything for Friday. You just prepared stuff for Saturday and Sunday. So, this episode I'm going to show you this hot pot and how you can prepare it in advance Cover it in foil, stick it in the fridge, and when you get to the campsite, put it in the microwave or the convection that we've all got on our campers. Okay, the veg is all prepped for this dish. Here's what we're going to need. We're going to need some sliced potatoes here and here. I've got these in a water bath to keep them from going brown. We're going to have some sliced mushrooms, some sliced carrots, some more potatoes diced. This is apple that's been sliced. And this is rutabaga. All diced into nice small bite sized chunks so that they'll cook uniformly. Same with the sliced apple and the sliced potato. Those were all done on a mandolin slicer on the same blade so as to keep everything nice and consistent. That's very important. All right, now for the sauce. We're going to need to start off with 16 ounces of chicken stock. To that, we're going to add 12 ounces, minus a little, mm, apple cider. Now, you can use apple juice if you so desire. I like the yeasty taste that it gives off. So, we're going to put that in there. Add a little dash of salt pepper. Then we're going to add about a, oh I don't know, half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then we'll have a crushed rosemary. And a little sage. And thyme, fresh if you have it. To that, we're going to add a heaping teaspoon, tablespoon rather, of mustard. You pick your mustard. This is a uh, whole grain mustard with Irish stout. Now we're going to give that a good stir. Make sure all those flavors are incorporated. And pour it into your saucepan. Make sure all that goodness goes down there. Let's get that to simmering. Once we have a healthy simmer going on, we'll add these here onions. And you see the foam really start to get foamy. Let's cut the heat back just a little. Then we're going to add our onions. This is about two small to medium sized onions. Turn the heat back up just a little bit. Once that comes to a boil, we'll take it back down to a simmer. We're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. I cannot stress this enough. Always be tasting. That's right on. Okay, we've let it simmer for a few minutes. 
and there's a real nice yeasty smell in the air from the uh, from the cider. All right, now it's time to thicken the sauce, and I'm going to use arrowroot powder. So we're just going to start with a tablespoon or a teaspoon rather, you know, heaping teaspoon, kind of go it around there, mix it in well. What I do is I add it in a little at a time, and when it gets the thickness that I like, I leave it alone. Okay. The desired thickness has been achieved. This is about how thick you want it to be. Can you see that? I'm going to let that simmer for another minute or two. And then we're going to add in our veg. Now we're going to add back in our veg, which we have carrots, potatoes, rutabaga, some sliced mushrooms. We're going to put that into the mix and then bring that back up to a simmer. Let that go for just a few minutes, not, not long. Smart man would have used a bigger pan. We're not really looking to cook this stuff per se. Just kind of get the process started. Par cooking, I believe they call that. I don't know for certain if par cooking is the right way of saying it. That's one of them fancy words you need to know to get a job done at the Waffle House. All right, now as I said, I've got about two pounds of pork steaks. It's a fancy word for boneless pork chops. We're going to cut those into bite-sized pieces with good, sharp knives. So now here's what your pork should look like if you have it cut into nice, bite-sized pieces. I'm going to put it in this here frying pan and kind of brown up the sides and cook it, yeah, about halfway. You all know what this is going to be, right? Whoo! It's going to be hardly fit to eat. You watch and see. All right, we got our pork about where we want it. It's probably halfway, three quarters of the way cooked. What we're gonna do next is let that settle down for a little bit. We're gonna mix it all together and we're gonna start assembling. All right, so now we're gonna start assembling. We've got our pan lined with potatoes. Gonna put some chunks of pork on it. Also, uh, I want to add that I did put some oil on the bottom of the pan there so that the potatoes would get, you know, kind of caramelized and crispy on the bottom. I'm going to add some veg and gravy. We want to fill this to the top. And now for the pretty part. We're going to alternate. Potato slice, apple slice, uh -huh. apple or a uh, uh, potato, apple. Now, when you've got it all finished, this is what you should have. Isn't that pretty? We're gonna cover it in foil. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about probably an hour and a half, I'd say. Check All right, so here it is. Let's pull it out of the oven. Have a look. I did take the foil off, and I let those potatoes and apples kind of get a little heat on top. So let's have us a little taste of this. So there it is. Apple cider pork hot pot. Let's give it a whirl. Here's some pork. Oh yeah. The cider flavor really comes through. I'll tell you. Hmm. Hard to fit to eat. Hmm. You try this on the next camping trip, and I promise you, everyone in that camper is going to love this. So until next time, y'all be nice to each other. God bless you and I love you. Bye for now.